Hi everyone, it's Missy at White Horse Ranch. I wanted to just take a few minutes and do a review of this new monthly subscription box. This is called Saddle Box. It is for um, equestrians for you and your horses to enjoy. This is a monthly subscription box and the proceeds go to various horse rescues and shelters and I believe on their website it has a list of those organizations. There is a 15% off discount code for your first monthly box. I will leave that down below. The box is $45 a month. Um, this is a picture of the horse that we supposedly helped by buying this month's box. That's Abby. I don't know what... Um, rescue she is at but that's Abby and let's get into the box the first thing is a metal curry comb with a plastic handle um, definitely something that comes in handy during this time of year our horses are all shedding out their winter coats um, and if you're like me I probably own four or five of these and I always seem to lose these somewhere so glad that came in the box it will definitely get used uh, the next thing is the Phoebe's saddle soap if you are a horse owner you I'm sure have used this at some point in your life it's great for not just saddles but any of your leather tack um, bridles halters reins even your boots or leather footwear shoes you can use it on your leather furniture, anything. And it comes with this, um, it's a solid compact in here. And so you just wet this sponge, rub it on the uh, solid in there. It'll create a lather. You rub it onto your saddle or whatever you're cleaning and uh, then kind of buff it with a dry towel. So kind of one of those products you don't realize that you need it until you need it till you have a dirty saddle the next product is this brush it is a face brush um, it is made in China if that's of any importance to you it's a nice uh, wooden handle uh, very soft bristles but I will tell you and I don't know if you can tell it's really hard to see on the camera some of the bristles actually have already fallen out and um, are sticking out. It's really hard to tell because they're they're white against this background. But um, overall, a decent brush. I have not used this yet on my horses, but my dogs seem to enjoy it. Uh, next thing is this wooden hoof pick by Epona. Um, this is a nice hoof pick. It has a wooden handle. It's feels very solid in your hand so I think it would be um, easy to get a good grip to um, pick hooves. It has a little leather cord at the end so you could hang it up I suppose and the back of it just tells you a little bit about it. It has a cute little poem on here. It says that it is a hand tumbled wooden hoof pick. Um, so there's that. This is just a uh, roll of vet wrap. It's a navy blue color, single roll. If you own horses, you've used this at some point. For bandaging or tails or, or whatnot. Always something good to keep on hand. Uh, the next item, I'm sorry for the glare. This is a 2019 horses calendar. It's like a... Uh, miniature size that you could maybe hang in your office or in your barn and um, has some really pretty pictures of horses in here uh, there is a sticker in here it says horses leave hoof prints on your heart um, pretty cute I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet maybe put it on the back of the horse trailer and there, in every box, there's a some sort of a treat for your horses. This month, it was these Buckeye Nutrition All Natural No Sugar Added uh, Peppermint Bits. 
and I did give these to my horses. They all love them. And I have some pretty picky horses. These are almost like wafers. They're very small. So if you have miniature horses or ponies or senior horses that have a hard time eating like the large crunchy treats, um, I think they would be able to eat these. Uh, so this was definitely a win. Even my goats liked them. And my donkeys just about ran me over trying to get them. And that's all that's in this box. The last thing is just the um, subscription card. They encourage you to take a picture of your horse with the box and post it on social media like these folks here have done. Um, overall, my thoughts on the box. It is $45 a month. And in my opinion, I think that's a little bit pricey for the items that came in this box um you know i'll i'll get the next month's box and see what's in it before i really make a decision as to whether it's something i'll keep or not i think this would make an excellent gift if you have a horse lover in your life and it's their birthday or christmas and you're really not sure what to get them i know i would enjoy getting this as a gift um let me put everything back in here. Um, but again, this brush, uh, you know, I don't think it's the highest quality. And, you know, like some of the bristles have already fallen out and I haven't even used it yet. I just took it out of the little box that came in. The metal curry comb, I almost bought one of these at Tractor Supply the other day and they were on sale. I believe they were like four or five dollars. So these are really inexpensive. And like I said, I always lose these or they break. So yeah, it's a, it's a great little addition to the box. Um, but not necessarily something that I needed to have. The horse calendar is very cute, but it's a 2019 calendar. And yes, we're in 2019, but it's already, you know, getting towards the end of April. So it would have been nice if this was maybe like a 2019, 2020 calendar or like an 18 month calendar, but, um, whatever it is, what it is. Um, I will go ahead and link that discount code below if you are interested and you get 15% off for your first month. Uh, hopefully if you have looked at this subscription it kept popping up on my instagram feed and on facebook and i kept seeing all these boxes with these really great wonderful things in them and i don't know maybe you know subsequent boxes will have a better variety if all the boxes are are like this i i don't think it would be a subscription box for me but that's just my opinion and, um, you know, maybe this will help you decide whether or not you want to give it a try. I did pay for this with my own money. This was not sent to me. It's not sponsored in any way. So this is my total honest opinion about the, the box itself. And, um, I might do an update after I, you know, use the brush and the curry comb and the hoof pick and let you know how those items worked out. So far, this hasn't gone out to the barn except for the peppermint treats, which my horses did enjoy. So that's it for today. That's my honest review of the saddle box. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.